Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Michael and I am 30 weeks, very pregnant. <laughs> Today, I thought it would be super fun to do a little q and A. I I did a Q&A at 20 weeks right after I kind of announced my pregnancy. So I thought it would be fun to do another one at 30 weeks. I had you guys ask me some questions on Instagram. And I was actually going to do this as like a mukbang. Like I was going to go to McDonald's and order a bunch of food because McDonald's has been my biggest craving this pregnancy. But I was driving and I was like, do I actually want to go to McDonald's and spend money right now? Absolutely not. Do I regret it now that I didn't? A hundred percent, but it's fine. I've got my sparkling water, tastes like I also have allergies so bad, so if my voice sounds kind of funky, we're not gonna talk about it, okay? We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna hop into these questions. First question I got, do you have a name picked out? You don't have to share it, congratulations. Thank you so much. We do have a name picked out. We knew, boy or girl, what the name was going to be before we even found out what we were having. So we have had her first name, at least, picked out since we got pregnant. It is inspired by a Beatles song, if you guys wanna guess it in the comments. I've had a couple of people guess it right, but we aren't gonna be sharing it until she gets here just because we don't have her like full name set in stone yet what is her coming home outfit going to be i'm so excited i am actually going to be packing up our hospital bags pretty soon just to have everything ready to go so let me grab some of the options that i have so far so at the very beginning of my pregnancy i was actually gifted a little onesie that says like hello i'm new here or something like that and i really wanted that to be her coming Coming home outfit but it's a six month onesie which is like massive and I am 100% positive she's not gonna fit into that so our first little option is this newborn onesie it just has stars on it I got this at Goodwill this is also a newborn size but it's like way bigger like how does that make any sense anyway and it's just got pink stripes on it this is a zero to three month which is much bigger than the newborn but it, it has little hearts on it this one's from Old Navy, but I don't know if I got it from Old Navy. I don't think I did. And then I just have this three to six month. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. This is zero to three. This is three to six. Look at that size difference. What? Anyways, just a plain white onesie that I got from Goodwill that we were thinking of like screen printing, like hello, I'm new here or something like that on it, or maybe her name. I'm not totally sure. So those are some of my current options that I just have pulled out. I want to bring a couple different sizes to the hospital because I don't know how big or little she's going to be, but we're also having my baby shower this weekend, so I guarantee I'm going to get tons more clothes that I may decide something else will be her coming home outfit. How are you feeling in the third trimester? What do you think the differences are between how you feel now and how you felt in the first and second trimester? Oh my god. The third trimester, they always tell you sucks and they are not lying. The first trimester for me was pretty difficult. I was really sick, really tired all the time. Second trimester was really great. I wasn't showing very much. I had all my energy back. I felt good. And now the third trimester, I have such bad back pain. I'm exhausted again for no reason. I'm having pelvic pain. I just feel feel like my tummy is like stretching and there's no room for me to breathe like it's just the acid reflux that I've been having is not good like you just really revert back to that first trimester like ickiness you know and I've thrown up a couple of times recently which is very strange not fun I don't recommend the third trimester I don't recommend the first trimester don't recommend the third the second pretty solid what are you most excited for when little babe is born I'm so excited for you thank you so much I am just excited to meet her and get to spend time with her I've been having a lot of dreams recently that she's here and like sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night to like check on her and she's like she's not even here yet like go back to bed you know so I'm really just excited to, to do life with her and like have her with us we went 
went and spent time with family over Easter and I just was like, oh, I'm so excited to be able to go to these family gatherings and like have my little baby and it's just gonna be so special. So that's what I'm most excited for is just to have her here and like have her be a part of our life. Like I'm so excited. Are you feeling good or are you getting a lot more tired? A lot more tired. A lot more tired. What's been the worst part of your pregnancy so far? Not being able to drink Monster. And that's only like kind of a joke. Like literally the other day, Miguel got in the car with a Red Bull and I was like, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Like I'm not kidding. Get the Red Bull out of my car because if I can't have a drink of it, I don't want it anywhere near me. I have not experienced this very much with alcohol. Like I'm pretty cool with just being like, oh yeah, no, like you guys chill, I'm good. But like Monster, I miss it so bad. Bad. It will be the first thing that I have when I'm in the hospital after I have delivered my child So that's kind of a joke, but not really like I miss my monsters so and also the nausea and like exhaustion and the back pain. But other than that, nothing, it's fine. Any new cravings? Do I have any new cravings? I've been having a really hard time eating anything like super savory, like spaghetti or tacos or a burrito or like anything like that, which are my favorite foods. I love savory stuff. That was the only thing that I was craving for basically my entire pregnancy, but it makes me feel really sick anytime I eat anything like hot and savory. So I've been eating a lot of sweets recently, which I'm, is fine, whatever. And a lot of cold things like cold sandwiches and cold like salad. How did y'all's parents feel about you being pregnant? I answered this in my 20 week Q and A. It took them a little bit to come around to it and that's completely okay. I am very young and a baby is a lot. So I don't hold it against them at all. And now they're very excited. What's your go-to pregnancy craving? In the first trimester, it was ramen. That's all I wanted to eat. That's all I felt like I could keep down. I probably haven't eaten ramen. I don't even know how long, it just sounds gross. Right now my go-to pregnancy craving is probably salad and cucumbers. Yeah, that's kind of it, I don't know. What's been the biggest struggle and biggest reward so far? Biggest struggle, like I said, all the nausea and the being tired and and then not being able to like eat what I want. I've also really struggled with like my body changing. I have come to find out during my pregnancy that I am a control freak. And I don't even just say that like as a funny joke, like it genuinely is something that I have really had to come to terms with in myself. And when you're pregnant, you have genuinely no control over what your body is doing and how it's changing. And that's been something that's been really difficult for me to come to terms with so that's been really hard but it's also been really beautiful to see my body change and like I have good days and bad days sometimes I really am struggling and sometimes I really really love the fact that my body is like housing my daughter and growing her I think the biggest reward about pregnancy is feeling her move like everything is so worth it feeling her kick and there has been the past couple of days she is waking up a lot later she used to wake up like right at 7 a.m. and now she's waking up around like like eight o'clock and it's really stressed me out because I'm like, I'm like poking my stomach trying to get her to wake up and move because I'm like oh my god is something wrong like why is she not moving I didn't I don't know why I told you that but the biggest reward for me has been feeling her move it makes it feel like it's all worth it and like it literally doesn't matter all right last question I feel like we rolled through these real quick last question is how many kids do you want to have and I feel like my answer for this has really changed because before I got pregnant, I was always like, oh, I want like three or four kids, not a huge family, but definitely don't want an only child. And that's still true. I do want like three or four kids, but I don't necessarily know if I'm going to carry two or three more babies. I, I haven't had a difficult pregnancy or anything like that. I've been very, very thankful for that. But the giving up control and all of the annoying things that come along with pregnancy. I just don't know if it's like worth it to do it again, for me at least. Like I would be completely content with birthing one baby and adopting the rest of my babies and being cool with that. Like I experienced it once. I don't feel like I need to experience it again. And I definitely did not think that that would be my train of thought, you know? But yeah, now that I have gone through it and experienced it, I just don't feel like I need 
need to do it again, I feel like, you know, one and done. I did that. We're good. I don't need to have any more of my own biological children. It's just not like something that I feel like is necessary. Now, I may push my daughter out and be like, oh my God, I want to do this a bajillion more times, but I just don't think that I do. And that's really odd to like admit. And I tell all my friends, I'm like, yeah, pregnancy is so beautiful, but it also sucks. So really make sure that you want to have a baby before you get pregnant because it's not just some walk in the park, baby girl. That is all the questions that I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like this video is probably going to be super short. I'll give you a little bump date. This is my tummy. Look at her. Oh my goodness. She's growing. My belly button hasn't popped yet. I feel like that's definitely coming very soon. My baby shower is this weekend, so next week's video will be my baby shower, and I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait. So I hope you guys subscribe and come back to watch that video, and I love you so much. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments, and I'll answer them. Bye.